To make a crusader, which is just a crossbow, I need two rope, three metal, and three planks. Nothing like chopping down trees with pitchforks. But you know that feeling when you've been playing a server for like 30 minutes to an hour. Your entire inventory is filled with loot. And you finally make a base and you finally manage to make some crates. And then you unload everything and your inventory is completely clear. Crusader has been crafted. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Okay. Found a holographic site. Now that is clean. I made 15 wooden bolts. They do 130 damage to zombies, which I think is good. Might be a one-hit kill, actually. Not a one-hit kill, but a two-hit kill for the crawlers. And that means it should be a one-hit kill for the walkers. Killing a cow gives five experience. That's like killing five zombies. And that gives a steady supply of 100% grade high-quality milk, which gives 40 water. I wonder if this will damage you. Hey, let's get it. I need a sacrifice. Got another loud ass clock over here. What the fuck? This feels strange. Looks like priority number one is find a scripture. Whoa, I was wondering how to get into this house. What could be in here? A fucking tank. I can drive it? I can shoot it, but it doesn't have a missile in it. Maybe I can just drive through it, actually. 200 IQ, baby. Let's go. We got a fucking tank. Oh, that's my cue to leave. And we're home. Made it safely back to base, and that was a very good loot run. A lot of shotgun ammo. That's going to come in useful for raiders in the future. A staff, some low-cal ammo, some milk. Time to plant all of these seeds. First run was a success. This time, I'm going to go to some military locations. This is one of the many entrances to the dead zone. Missing green key card. There we go. Now that goes deep. Found a military sling backpack that's plus 30 slots. You have picked up the green key card, which allows you to open green doors. Within these tunnels, there are many more of these colorful doors that each have their own corresponding key card, which is hidden somewhere on the map. The full moon has fallen, which means I could safely kill the mega. This is why I'm considered a professional. 50 experience from that. First, mega zombie kill. Military vest. That's an upgrade. Low caliber ammo, MRE. What's this? A mesh. Sniper mag and a grenade. What is this? A reverso stock. 50% less recoil, 80% less spread, and 25% less scope sway. This thing's amazing. I did find a puck and I did find a wisp. I'm assuming it'll work on the puck. Let's test this out. Oh, you could even take off the old stock. There's a person right there. Let's see if I can hit him from here. Got him. Since I don't have a blowtorch, I can't make a metal door. So for now, this wall is gonna have to do. I added a few crates. I'm preparing for my third run, and I'm gonna stop using the crossbow. And I can either use my new Valentine or my new Puck. They both use low caliber, but the Valentine is at 18% quality, and it's gonna do a lot less damage. And I can't repair it because I don't have the necessary skills or that blowtorch. So I'm gonna rock the Puck. I'm pretty set on military gear. So what I want to focus on are the following. I need to get a blowtorch so I can start making metal items. I need a gas can so I can start refueling my vehicles and I need to find one of those scriptures so I can make use of the teleporter and finally make my way to the safe zone because once I unlock that a whole load of content is going to make itself available to me so right now I'm going to head to the fire station got a fire axe and it says it right there harvests trees so no more picking at trees with a fucking butter knife nothing too good here other than that fire axe and I think the mall is going to be a mother load of useful stuff so time to head there now looks like I found a pog I am a fan of pogs it takes low caliber but it's 29 player damage compared to the current 14 player damage the puck gives gonna have to swap these out once i get back to base that's what i like to see a blowtorch i made my way onto the roof and found this area hidden and it appears the teleporter is right there let me walk in right here still sacrifice the scripture so i guess every single teleporter is going to be unlocked once i find this very rare scripture just got myself a pickaxe off one of these zombies and i know that near my base there's like a huge deposit of ore so this is going to come in handy and we've got this bad boy to take home looks like a nissan gtr mixed with a rally car for some reason i thought you needed a blowtorch to repair weapons but apparently you don't boom 100 efficiency pog gonna swap out all the attachments for this rifle instead gonna take the vertical grip from the valentina put it on this and are ready to go on our next loot run and this time i have a feeling there's going to be a scripture at the church that's located near the town and i gotta say i do enjoy the style of these weapons it looked nice i finally found a green crystal here we are at the church this church is closed until further notice as i was too lazy to model the interior so i guess the scriptures are not in the church 
found another green crystal. There's a basement under the prison. What the hell is this? Another teleporter. Of course, gotta sacrifice that scripture. All right, chainsaw, that's useful. Typically when I find a chainsaw, I go crazy. I overbuild, I make the base way bigger than it has to be. And I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. Base is looking pretty good so far. I have a four by four setup with the center hollowed out. This is where I'm gonna farm my crops. And in here is where I'm gonna have a ton of metal safes. To do that, I gotta go collect some metal. Luckily, this bridge right here filled with a ton of rocks right under it, probably like 20 or 30 seconds away from my base. That wasn't too bad. I actually took only like five to six minutes to fill my inventory up. And it makes me think, rather than finishing the rest of my base with wood, I might as well just use metal. But for now, I'm gonna make a ton of lockers so I don't have any storage problems in the future. The lockers are currently placed. We have 11 in total. And now the journey continues to try and find that scripture. What the? I thought that was a guy in like a fucking Tesla driving by, but I guess it's an airdrop. How convenient. This airdrop's gonna be right next to my base. This is one large airdrop. That's a lot of stuff. Some motherfucker took all my crops. We got a valentine, we got a puck, we got a sauce, interesting name, some epic crafting supplies, another suppressor, and a lot of ammo from that. Pretty good airdrop, but nothing I haven't seen already. As opposed to planning these in a straight line, it is much more convenient to go around in a circle. The fuck's down there? Is this a ladder? How deep does that go? My haiku. Radiation below. There's a small pond there though, so it's safe to jump. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The scripture is to be crafted with all of these things. A graphics card, a components, green crystal, and a military radio. I don't even have half of these items and I've been playing for like eight hours. By the way, the gear I had on me when I died was like the culmination of a few hours of loot. And that would have sucked if I lost it indefinitely. Luckily, the roadkill came in clutch. And one of the guys had this scope on it. A four times scope. This looks nice. Simple, magnified. That's gonna help out a lot. Just came back with over 100 metal scrap, made 50 metal sheets. Gonna start working on my vault area, the most secure part of the base. <laughs> That was close. You suppress shots over here. Gotcha. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Sounds like another airdrop is on the way. And there it is. Another military backpack. Two pucks. A valentine. Some sauce. Give me that sauce. And this is new. A tusk. A high caliber sniper rifle. It does 63 player damage. And it does damage against structures. Right here, I planted over 80 cotton. Gonna harvest them real quick. I'm gonna make four rope from this cotton. And then I can make a cloth pack mark one. That has 20 slots. It's a decent starter backpack. But if I repeat the process, make another backpack, I can combine the two and make a mark two backpack, which has... 30 slots. Cloth pack can go up to a Mark IV, which gives 48 slots, but it's not as good as the Alice pack or the military backpack, which gives 56 slots. I've made a few additions to the base. I finished out the uh, safe room on the third floor, added all the doors and door frames. On the second floor, I made what I make on every base that I build, which is a temporary storage location. Pretty much whenever I come back from a loot run, I come here, I drop everything off so my inventory is empty, and from here, I take all the valuable stuff and put them into deep storage. And on top of this metal area, I built another metal area. It's currently under construction and with that I had to build the accompanying wooden surrounding. And I think here I'm going to put a lot of gun racks, guns, ammo, and meds. So if I need to I can come in here, get gear, and then head out. All I need to do now is chop some wood and fortify this entire base. Add doorways and walls pretty much. Got 500 experience from constructing that. I'm going to put some of that into Sneaky Beaky increasing my stealth because unlike any other untamed map I played it actually matters on this map. I'm going to max out parkour and diving and I'm going to save the rest for later. Just found a graphics card inside of this PC store in the mall and I 
I found a U-Phone XIV that's also used to make the sacrificial scripture. So all I need now is the defibrillator battery and I can make the scripture. And I'm going to assume that that defibrillator can be found at the hospital. And I have not been in here before, so this is going to be a new experience. And I found the defibrillator. I actually need two more things to make this scripture. I need two green crystals. I have two already, but you need four. Found a sentry engine. Provides power for the almost behemoth of a weapon used for crafting the devastator. Oh, by the way, this incredibly long barrel on my rifle is pretty cool. I found it at the military base. It increases your recoil, but you get 10% more damage. It hides your muzzle flash. There's less bullet drop, meaning the bullet goes faster, and there's less spread. It changes the walking zombies from being a three-shot kill to a two-shot kill, which means I'm going to save 33% more ammo. Oh, just killed the mega zombie and this thing just spawned right in front of me. Nice. Anything good from the mega? Another tusk, parachute, and some mesh. Realized I haven't been to the checkpoint Bravo or the gas station yet, so I'm gonna head over there right now. How convenient is that? I'm going to the gas station and an airdrop drops at the gas station. It's a message from the gods. Is that a giant donut I see on that building? Do my eyes betray me? So these guns aren't OP at all. They're ridiculously balanced. Like this one. It does 42 damage. That's pretty good. But if you notice, you can't put a grip on it. And when you shoot, the recoil is insane. It's like floating up. All right, let's see what we get from this. Two backpacks, two tusks. I don't have any space for this. And night vision. Well, I'll be damned. You cannot construct those wooden plates that we all know very well from Unturned. I wish I could put a suppressor on this chainsaw so I could kill these zombies in peace. And now I harvest all of this cotton. And from all that cotton, I got 12 dressings. And these go by quick. So they are quite valuable. Hopefully this guy has a crystal on him. Gotcha, bitch. That guy didn't have anything good on him. Only a telescope that I took from him. Found his sentry barrel inside the mall. I think I'm halfway there to making the Devastator. Oh, I hear someone in a vehicle near me. There he is. I shall let him live. Psych. Just found this jackhammer that this is going to make harvesting metal 10 times faster. And I just picked up a white key card that was right in front of this vehicle. And there is the tower that was inside the trailer for the Elver. Apparently it's not going to be standing up so straight so long. I'm now at the southern tunnel and there is a purple key card waiting for me inside of this guitar case. Time to test this bad boy out. That is a lot faster. Oh, just found a detonator. That is exceedingly rare. First time I've seen that. This guy just ran right in front of me. How does that happen? It's like, I'm just trying to commentate this video and then I turn 30 degrees and he's right there. How did he not see me first? I was literally standing right in front of him. This map has an incredible amount of verticality. Across it, you'll constantly see ways to get on top of buildings like this. Ooh, parkour. Just like that, I have an advantage. I've been given some very valuable information by Red Rider. And if what he says is true, then I will soon have safe zone access. I spent several hours looking for a single green gem. And what I've been told is that this giant green gem in here is a mineable node. So I can just hit this a few times. And okay, solid five hours of progress, concentrated into around 20 seconds. One gyroscope, U-phone, defibrillator battery, and a tape makes one component. One graphics card, one component, four green crystals, two chemicals, five rope, two cans, one military radio, and we have ourselves the sacrificial scripture. Now I just gotta make my way to the town without dying. How dirty would it be to camp here with a shotgun waiting for someone to try and offer their sacrifice? Sacrifice scripture. You may now proceed. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. I hear someone fishing. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, what the fuck is this? Take balloon. Welcome 